Wanna come over for tea? get to meet you, Honorary Knight. I'm Noelle, a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, oh, apologies. I've yet to officially join the Knights. As a maid, and in order to be worthy of this armor, I'm currently undergoing the Knights of Favonius chivalric training. Yes, I haven't passed the selection trials yet, but I've been asking senior knights for advice on how to become a true knight of Favonius. I asked Amber how to make a Baron Bunny. Oh, and Kai has been keeping me busy with various small tasks. I even asked the Spark Knight to pass on her experiences, although Master Jean grounded us shortly after. Actually, I have always wanted to receive guidance from the Honorary Knight. I was worried that it might be too presumptuous to ask. I've seen you on the streets of Mondstadt occasionally, but I've always been too busy to disturb you. I just finished today's cleaning for the nights and was about to start my training when I saw you. I... Oh, if it's not too much trouble, could I ask you for some guidance on my chivalric training? I, I'd like to get your opinion on something as a senior knight. I've been keeping up with my maidly duties and knightly exercises, but training progress has been a little slow. You know, just basic strength and endurance training. A hundred push-ups, a hundred sit-ups, a hundred squats, and running two laps around Mondstadt as a morning routine. I'm actually incredibly busy every day. It's just that I always feel like something's missing. Rest? But... Oh, I've still got so much work to do. Besides, I'm still not skilled enough. Any free time that I get should be spent training. If I want to become a real knight soon, I have to continue to put in more effort than the others. But... Time is precious. If I rest... I'll feel guilty. Oh, I really hadn't thought about that. Resting for the sake of training. Oh, so that's why Miss Lisa always has afternoon tea in the library. I get it now. Oh, oh okay. Are there any particular snacks you like? I can get started with... Oh, no need? I should take a break? Oh, okay then. In that case, let's head to Good Hunter and have a look. Noel! B? What happened? Is there something I can help you with? Quinn! He's ignoring me again! Well, take your time, no rush. I'm here to help. I... noticed Quinn was in a bad mood, so I wanted to call him over for a chat. And a date, I guess. Oh, a d date So it's that kind of a problem? Yes. I've been over to him several times today already. But no matter how hard I try to make conversation, he just focuses on a stall and ignores me completely. 
Noelle, everyone in Mondstadt thinks you're really cute. You must be really popular, right? Can you help me out? Ah, uh, of, of course. It's a maid's responsibility to help the residents of Mondstadt. It's just, I... I don't have any experience in this area. <sighs> Even Noelle can't help me. Please, don't worry, I... Oh, we also have the Honorary Knight here. Honorary Knight, can you help me? Oh, thank you. Okay, B said that Quinn always seems busy and ignores everything she says. But I know that she's often looking for small talk with Quinn. In other words, we just need to make Quinn realize that this time is different. For example, by sending him a little gift. Even Quinn would notice the difference a gift would bring. But what kind of gift? Hmm. That's what I think. Everyone has their preferences, so it's important to choose the right gift if you want to get through to them. If it were me, I'd want roses. As for you, Honorary Knight, hmm, I bet you like handmade things. Oh, yes, I, I just wanted to try thinking from a different perspective. Hmm, Quinn, what kind of gift would he like? If I remember correctly, isn't Quinn one of the four drunkards of Mondstadt? Perhaps something wine-related would do, but what? Hmm, simply thinking about it isn't really helping. Let's go to Marjorie's store and see what's available. Welcome to With Wind Comes Glory. Well, if it isn't Noelle and the Honorary Knight, and what wind brought the two of you together? I barely ever see Noelle in someone else's company. Well, when Noelle's working, she practically always takes care of things by herself. And once she's finished with A, it's straight off to take care of B. Same she hardly has time to catch her breath. Say, Noelle, you're not a child anymore, you know? If you don't take time out for yourself, you may come to regret it in the future. I, um, decided to take a break today. But something came up. Oh? So it's a day off with the honorary knight? Oh, how wonderful! That's something to celebrate. You must be here to pick out a gift for the honorary knight. Choose anything you like. We have a lot that might tickle your fancy. Aw, so shy. No use denying it, though. Stop teasing! Me and the honorary knight don't have that kind of relationship. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I guess. After all, Noelle here is the type that needs a push every now and again. But looks like she's still in the dark when it comes to these things. I, I just feel I shouldn't let such things distract me from my chivalric training. Yes, there are too many important things to take care of. Okay, okay, no more teasing. So, what is the reason for this visit? So, you're choosing a gift for B to give to Quinn. In that case, I have a couple of fun new things in stock. A frostening bottle and a squirrel wood carving. The frostening bottle is very useful to keep alcohol cold and fresh for a long time. As for the squirrel wood carving, well, it's a nice ornament and it would look great at Quinn's stall. So, bottle or ornament, which will it be? Bottle. A fitting bottle.
exciting gift for one of the four drunkards. They remembered what I said. Aww. So frostening bottle it is? Alrighty, let me wrap it up for you. Okay, now that the gift is wrapped, let's hurry back and give it to B. I guess I'll post an expedition at the Adventurer's Guild. Huh? Give the frosting bottle to Quinn? It does look like something that he'd be interested in. Wait, wait. Maybe I can use the gift as bait. I could say that if he wants to get the gift, then he'll have to come on a date with me first. Thank you both so much. With this gift, there's no way Quinn will be able to refuse me. Uh-huh. Is that how gifts work? Well, as long as it helps. Uh, oh no! What's wrong? The gift? Is there something wrong with the gift? No, no, it's not the gift. I've been so focused on convincing Quinn, I hadn't even thought about where our date's gonna be. I've never gotten to that stage. Noelle, could you help me? <sighs> A date should be properly planned, so I'll wait. No need to rush. Just, uh, leave it to me. A date. Today's hmm. recommendation. We'll need a place with pleasant date. scenery and a quiet... Let's look around. If we see anywhere good, let's take a picture and let B have the final say. Oh, there's a beautiful and touching tale about Cape Oath. Maybe that would be a good spot. Ah, oh, you can see Falcon Coast from here. Such a beautiful view. Let's find a good angle and take a picture. Let's head to Star Snatch Cliff next. Star Snatch Cliff, another beautiful location and so elevated. This place is super famous for its nightscape. I know! 
Let's get a picture from the top. should do it. Oh! Let's go to Windrise! Look over there! The Windrise tree! Symbol of the great hero, Vanessa! You're pretty excited, huh, Noelle? Sorry. Where were we? Nice! The scenery here is pretty good, too. Small rivers and soft shadows under the trees. Let's get a picture. Huh? That should do it. Let's get back to B. locations did you find? Yeah! What about Windrise? May your love be as free as a dandelion. Windrise? Hmm, that's a great location, but isn't it a bit cliché? Huh? Cl cliché? Well, old folks are always going on about something symbolic about that place. Besides, we've been there so many times when we were young. It just feels like there's nothing special or new about it. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm going with Kaboth. Thanks so much. I'm off to find Quinn. <sighs> Quinn. I wonder what kind of oath he'll make to me. Uh... Is Windrise no longer popular? But the book said that it was the most popular place in Mondstadt. Uh, I'm not sure. I found it while cleaning a corner of the library. It was the story of Windrise and Lady Vanessa. I thought folks in Mondstadt would still like to go there. You want to go to Windrise? Oh, okay. Follow me. Refreshes you in an instant. Forget about training and work. Just breathe and feel the wind. <sighs> Nothing else. <sighs> That's true. But training and work are still the things I need to focus on. If I didn't take them seriously, I wouldn't be a reliable maid. Yes, to some degree, but Lady Vanessa and Master Jean, well, they worked much harder than me. I know I have a lot to live up to. That's why I want to become a real Knight of Favonius, to help more people. R really? Thank you. 
If you weren't here today, I wouldn't have been able to help B. It's just a small token of appreciation, but I hope you'll accept it. Roses are my favorite flower. This is a paper one that I folded by hand. Of course, in Mondstadt, roses represent the saying, as wine bottles are corked, so too my lips are sealed. I have seen and learned a lot during our time together. It will become a wonderful memory, one that I will savor again and again. I want it to remain in my heart and become a secret between the two of us. Ah, <sighs> wait, do you mean that roses have some meaning that I don't know about? Oh, I'll need to go back to the library and find out. Still, whatever a rose means, I hope that this one can stay by your side in all your future adventures before I'm able to fight alongside you, honorary knight. <laughs>